Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Daniel Umstead, host of the RG Radio Show. And today with me, I have the Celeste Bennett of Dipshack. She is going to be talking about her wonderful, wonderful dips uh, today. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you're watching, I have the Celeste Bennett of Dipshack. Celeste, welcome to the RG Radio Show. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm pleased to be here. Definitely, definitely. So you, you got to tell me about this dips. I was trying to save the lobster dip one that you had <laughs> sent to me, but uh, between the Tostitos and the plain chip that I got in the household, it just didn't last. So tell me all about Dip Shack. Okay, well, um, Dip Shack came about with me looking um, for value added products to um, me trying to farm and sell at the farmer's market garlic. So those value added products, I was trying to look for products that would kind of um, highlight what it is that I'm selling. Like you could take the garlic and you could do this, you can do that. And it kind of took off um, in a whole different direction of just having uh, dips and veggie rubs and rib rubs separate from my husband and I, who he, he's also the owner of Dip Shack, um, you know, just looking at the garlic business. So um, it has a life of its own that's separate from the farming that we do in North Carolina uh, with selling fresh organic um, garlic right out of our backyard. <laughs> so these, so just to be clear, because a lot of people think that, you know, when, when they hear Dip Shack or they hear somebody doing catering or their own seasonings that they're usually getting these uh, products from the market, the local grocery store, but you yourself, you're actually growing these products at home grinding up the seasonings and then saying in the mouth? Right. So we, we put together different types of profiles um, and we look at um, different lines that we have, which can be an oil dip. We have a line where you can kind of, um, some of your favorite restaurants, one of the things that they put on your table can be um, a lot of spices in, um, and then they put that olive oil in there. So we have a line for that. We also have a line for meat rubs. Um, then we have the veggie line and we have a dessert line. So it's, it, we provide the, the dry ingredients for you to get it home and um, just kind of use the recipes that's on the back of the label or go at your own speed and, and do your own thing. Okay. Now, before we continue on, because I'm pretty sure people probably salivating right now, especially <laughs> if I just show them these dips. If somebody wanted to order some dips right now, where can they go to? Well, basically, because our um, website is under construction, um, I've given you directions on our Facebook page. If you go to dipshack.net, you can find us there. Um, there's ways for you to reach me. Um, I'll pick up the phone anytime you call, anytime you send me um, a message, and uh, we go from there. I try to keep it personal. Um, I, you know, when you call me or you call that number, you get me. Um, okay, if and what's that number again for the folks at home? 336. Uh-huh. 897-6315. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, folks, I'm going to explain something to you real quick. The moment that I said that I was going to have Celeste Bennett on, my mother, <laughs> what was it, within 24 hours, Celeste? She was yeah, on. Yeah, I think less than that. <laughs> less than that, my goodness. So, mm -hmm. folks, these things are hot. They're a great product now. Between you and I and the folks at home, my mom barely cooked. But when she do, it's going to be, I'm pretty much going to be over there more than usual. So yeah. uh, mothers across the world, parents across the world, if you need your kids to come home and visit you, get some dips yeah. from <laughs> dipshack.net and let them know that uh, Celeste had sent over some fine, good ones. So the first one, because I actually want to talk about these now, the first one I got is Kansas City Rib Rub. Now, now, what can I use the Kansas City Rib Rub for? You can use it on a rib, on ribs, a slab of ribs. You can use it on chicken. You can use it on steak. We have a recipe card on the back, but mainly what I do, I use it as a rub. Um, I refrigerate my meat for a couple of hours, and then it can go on the grill. It can go on the oven. And it just takes it over the top. It's real easy. Everything is right there for, in that packet, and it will cover two slabs of ribs or more. Um, you can use it on boneless chicken. You could use it on chicken with a bone. Um, just any poultry that you have that you want to put a rub or add some extra kick to it. That Kansas City, that's my favorite right there. Okay. All right. Now this one, the, the next one I want to talk about, and I'm I'm dying to try this one. I can't yeah. wait to do this one this week. The Tennessee Smokehouse 
coffee rub. Coffee Which rub. one would you yeah. recommend for that? I got my ribs covered. Which one would you recommend or what kind of meat would you recommend with the Tennessee uh, Smokehouse Coffee Rub? Well, you can use um, that smoke um, Tennessee Coffee Rub on um, just about any meat that I just mentioned. Um, but I like to use it on my chicken. Chicken? I like okay. to rub my chicken and put it on the grill. It's good in the oven. Um, it's just, um, even some of the rubs you can take and even our veggie dips, you can put it over potatoes and roast them in the oven. You can put them over vegetables, um, put it on the grill in the oven. Um, it's, they're not just for dipping tortillas or pretzels. Um, the sky's the limit. You can put some of our oil dips, um, the roasted garlic into your mashed potatoes. Um, so once you get them and you start playing around with them, especially if you like to cook and experiment, you'll find a hundred ways um, to use the recipes um, from Dip Shack. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, I'm putting my mom's business out there and she ain't going mine. So j just to give the people at home a roundabout, and, and I don't recall her actual order, um, but for my mom who actually ordered the dips, about how many dips did she actually order, like six or seven? She did. She ordered quite a few. Um, oh. she, she ordered quite a few. A lot of veggie dips. I think she got an oil dip and um, I think she tried one of the uh, dessert dips also. Okay. Now, folks, I'm saying this for a reason and I apologize, mom. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but I'm saying this for a reason for the fact that this is not an expensive item. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, no Shipping way. is going to be included and I don't think my mom spent over no more than, what, $30? on all those probably items? Probably less than that. Mm -hmm. Less than that. I'm sorry. So way less than that, folks. So go to dipshack.net, get in contact with uh, Celeste Bennett. Um, you got the number. And for those that yeah. just tuned in, uh, what's the number again, Celeste? 336-897-6315. Uh -huh. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then last but not least, tell me about this uh, Asiago and roasted garlic. Now, I, I like here on the back that it does go over dipping instructions saying one cup sour cream, one cup mayo, and then a package of dip mix, and then of course refrigerate overnight. What, um, what, what kind of dip, or what kind of thing should I be dipping in the uh, Asiago and uh, roasted garlic? Well, if you want to dip tortillas, any type of vegetable cuttings, that, that is great. Um, what we love to do is take fried wings and dip in a lot of the vegetable um, dips that we have. Um, it's just, like I said, the sky's the limit and what you can do with it, but that would be great when you dip your wings in it. They could be barbecued um, ribs with a sauce on them. They could be fried ribs, um, anything that you could think of that you have fried and you want to dip. Seafood, you could dip in that. So it's not just a dip where you're going to take a potato chip and a, a pretzel stick. There's many things that you could do with these dips. Mm hmm all right, folks, don't make the mistake that I did because I was trying to preserve my lobster dip for actual seafood, but I just kept going. Me and my son just grabbed a bag of Tostitos and we, all of a sudden, it was a disappearing act. So unfortunately, yeah. I don't have any more lobster dip. I need to order something. <laughs> so so uh, to, and, and uh, moving forward, tell me uh, what actually got you motivated to start Dip Shack. I know we talked about, you know, as far as the homegrown stuff and the uh, garlic, but what actually got you and your husband to say, you know what? Let's start Dip Shack, and this is why. Well, I was looking for those value-added products to something that we had going already. But then, like I said, it took on a life of its own. And a lot of times, your products that you buy out of the supermarket when it comes to seasoning is filled with a lot of fillers and things that are just not good for you. Okay. So um, a lot of the products that, most of the products that we offer are gluten-free. Um, they don't have those um, agents in there that keep it from cracking and uh, clumping together. So we, we were just looking for a product that was a good product to put out there, um, especially, you know, in our community where we have high blood pressure things going on. Um, just coming down to the basic good seasonings where you don't have to have lots of salt in it and it still tastes good on your food. And then it's versatile. You could do so many different things with it. Oh, awesome. I love that. I love that. Now, for uh, those that are looking to start their business, not so much an actual farm and then putting <laughs> seeds together, but, uh, and if somebody wants to do that, that's cool. But uh -huh. if somebody actually wants to, you know, get a business started, and because uh, you've only been around for how long? Well, with the Dip Shack um, business, is less than a year, but we have been um, moving towards the homestead life and being self-sufficient for a good four or five years now. 
That is beautiful. That is mm -hmm. beautiful. Wow. So uh, what advice would you give to, let's say, somebody who is an entrepreneur, they're looking at this video and they're like, wow, I want to get started in a business like that or just getting my business off the ground. What advice would you give to somebody? Well, I would say first pray. And I believe if you, if you write it down and you can visualize it, you can dream about it, get a book, a notebook. It could be a, a composition, black and white book. And start writing down what it is that you visualize for yourself. It's one thing to think it, it's another thing to put it on paper and follow through. Start yeah. to find people um, that are doing what you're doing, not maybe necessarily the business that you're looking at, but maybe um, they will have those resources that you need when it comes to getting a loan or just taking those first steps of getting um, your business um, you know, tax ID number. So just try to find people that are at that stage or maybe a little beyond the stage of where you're at to kind of guide you and to help you. You you can't you can't be an island by yourself. You have to reach out and you have to ask for help and you have to search to help. But first and foremost, I would say pray about it, write it down, visualize it, walk it and talk it every single day. Awesome, awesome. I love that. I love that. Now, uh, before we wrap up, again, what is their contact information and what's the website that they can go to? Okay, so you can find me on Facebook at dipschat.net. You can also call me or text me at 336-897-6315. Awesome. I love that. Celeste, I cannot thank you enough, and I definitely will be in touch because um, I know after this uh, Tennessee Smokehouse Coffee Rub, <laughs> I'm already feeling it. Listen, I'm sometimes in the kitchen like, Yeah, I know. The day this week. <laughs> I get so many people that tell me like once they take the package out of the mailbox, it's just like once they open it, the smell, the aromas. I mean, oh. you can just smell it in your mailbox. So I can only imagine if you're like got it over in the corner just saying one day this week, I'm going to get to it because it's yeah, calling your definitely, name. Definitely picking up some uh, meat this weekend, not throwing it on the grill. Hopefully yeah. we got some good weather that stays this week in Philadelphia. So mm -hmm. but, um, Celeste, thank you again so much for being oh, on the you. radio show. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, for the folks at home to catch uh, myself on the RNG radio show, you can tune in Monday through Friday on Facebook Live at 7 a.m. And if you happen to miss the show, be sure to check me out on YouTube. Celeste, thank you again for joining thank me. Thank you. Today. I really enjoy myself. <laughs> Same here. I'm going about to enjoy some more of these dips too. So. Yeah. And tell your mom I said hello and thank you. I definitely will. Definitely will. Thanks again. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let's let on the beat.